Oh, your next comedian is excellent. She's um, she's one of my favorites here, actually. I don't think there's a guy in this room that doesn't have a crush on her. And she tapes yes. our set every week, so if you're a comedian, <laughs> she'll give you a copy and you can uh, you can check out how stupid you looked on stage that week. So uh, let's give a very warm welcome to Miss Suzanne Taylor. gonna go up because he was so nervous. Uh, so the terrorists are really getting on my nerves. You know? Because it's just like all about them. If they were gonna blow up ten airplanes, what was that gonna do? Make me afraid of flying? I have a thousand reasons to be afraid of flying before you guys come along. I'm terrified of flying. Terrified. Well, I'm actually more afraid of not flying in the middle of a flight already in progress. That's <laughs> where the real fear comes in. So. But I don't like to live my life in fear, so I've decided to go to India in October. <laughs> yeah, now I'm really gonna go. Uh, and it used to be when I told people I was afraid of flying and I was going to fly, they'd reassure me that flying was safer than driving. And even I have to agree that uh, flying to India is probably safer than driving to India. This <laughs> has got a very small chance of drowning in a submerged vehicle. <laughs> to drive. Um, but nobody reassures you anymore. <laughs> So I say, hey, yeah, I'm flying to India, and I'm afraid of flying, and people don't say, oh, flying safer than driver. People say, um, wow, stop over in Europe? Um, yep. Ooh, and then you fly right over Pakistan. Yeah. <laughs> and you're gonna land in Mumbai, where the Pakistanis blew up all those trains? Uh-huh. Wow, you're fucked. <laughs> Turns out, when you book your flight, you can't ask for the seat next to the air marshal. <laughs> but remember, it used to be like the most dangerous thing you could do on a plane was use your cell phone. Because I was going to mess up all the instruments or something, right? My cell phone gets better reception if I'm wearing big earrings. <laughs> really? That's going to throw the whole thing off? You should perfect the technology before you sell the tickets. <laughs> Do I have to worry about whether this jet was built on a Monday or a Friday now? <laughs> like some union guy didn't put in the last few bolts and we'll get to 30,000 feet and blow up like a tin can of botulism? <laughs> and the last thing we're all going to be thinking is, oh, thank God nobody's got nail clippers. <laughs> And now, what we can't bring on planes, because it's way too dangerous, water. <laughs> Not even tap water, which is dangerous. <laughs> Bottled water. They can't hardly control us. <laughs> so yeah, they, so the Scotland Yard busted, like, they, we're not allowed to bring liquids on because they think we're going to get together with all the other passengers and mix something up. <laughs> you know, like they finally solved the mystery of the man scientist living in the abandoned airport. <laughs> Scooby-Doo, episode 41. <laughs> you know? And the best part was, the thing that they were going to mix up, this is so ironic, it was uh, called Mother of Satan. And I was planning on drinking Mother of Satan the whole flight to India. <laughs> Except I like mine with rum instead of tequila. You know, it's just a scam to make us pay the on board prices. So, uh, <laughs> my friend Robin is just cracking me up. <laughs> oh, Robin, you'd like this next one. So here's my idea for security. You know, they've got the blowers, they've got the x-rays, and then they pat you down, and they think, you know, get you naked. They don't have to do any of that. Just tickle everybody. <laughs> right? You think you can become a, a hijacker in Al-Qaeda if you're ticklish? 
you, you know, they got a box cutter to your throat, you just poke them in the ribs and they go down like a screaming girl. You know? You hang out with the fun with the other passengers, make them tickle till, the, till they wet themselves. That doesn't look good in the papers, that's not the publicity they're looking for. I think they should do that at the courthouses too. When you're going through security, what an equalizer. You might get a couple of confessions. First thing that Osama does when he's hiring new guys? There's no giggling. There's no giggling in jihad. So, so I'm not gonna be, I, I, I'm okay with them increasing security. I am okay with them stripping us of everything that we could possibly bring on board. I'm just hoping that by the time I have to get on that 20 hour <clears throat> flight to India, that actually boarding the plane has become completely prohibited. Because <laughs> I think it's really the passengers who are causing all the problems. <laughs> Once I get them out of the picture, all I gotta do now is sober up the pilots. <laughs> yeah?